working well and which are not, they actually miss out on profits because they're spreading out their efforts throughout the campaigns that are unprofitable. By offering them statistical information on all their activities, marketing campaigns, and sales activities, they actually gain the knowledge to take informed decisions and to be able to do a better job and gain more profit. We'll um, continue with this. Data are just summaries of thousands of stories. If we manage to tell a few of these stories, we'll be able to make that data meaning. The e-commerce e market is expected to reach $6.5 trillion globally by 2023. So as I mentioned, for these businesses to survive and to thrive, they need to be able to make better decisions faster. There are some problems in this. Digital analytics reporting is time consuming and is very labor intensive. So many marketing departments are busy generating dashboards that are irrelevant and are not generating actionable insights. Even when this data is available, only a very small part of it is actually being used to make those business decisions. This leads to misinformed strategies and slow response time to the market shift. Over one third of retailers remain in the dark over their data they dump and admit that silos are the primary obstacle in them using this information. Our solution to this actually is to build an uh, integrated e-commerce analytics app that collects the data from third-party apps, generates actionable insights through the use of machine learning, real-time benchmarks, and natural language. We have already validated this concept through integrating Google Analytics with Shopify and plan on expanding into integrating the most common payment processors, the most common e-commerce platforms, and quantitative analysis tools. Our goal actually is to deliver accurate and actionable data insights for e-commerce businesses. Over 90% of the clients we have are coming to us with broken analytics implementation. How we came to this solution and our background to this actually is that I run a conversion optimization agency. We have been helping e-commerce businesses build accurate tracking systems and increasing their conversion rates. <laughs> and increasing their conversion rates through the insights we generated. We built this app as a solution to our problems in order to make artificial agencies scale faster and to be more efficient in what we're doing. We plan to cut down time spent on reporting. So we built this as from our hands-on experience. It wasn't something done on just researching what's, what the trends are, but something that's actually applied over. There are some tools on the market that, I, that do this. Um, it's not a new space, but uh, we feel our advantage over this, our competitive edge, is the fact that we know what e-commerce businesses need to actually convert. We've been doing this for many years, and we deliver the data in plain English for uh, any department in a business to, to be able to understand their data, to be able to make actionable insights, to be able to improve immediately. So they will be able to increase their bottom line, actually, just with a few clicks. They will be able to know what they need to do. So far, we have a working beta version of the app. It's doing Google Analytics automated analysis and insights. The idea has been validated with our current agency e-commerce clients. So far, the benefit for us has been that we've managed to cut down what used to take four or five hours before to do reporting just a few seconds right now, actually to generate the insights, and uh, we plan on developing it even further, actually. Uh, we plan to launch the app to the public in mid-Q1, probably end Q1. <laughs> we'll say mid-Q1, targeted exclusively at Shopify businesses, as this is where we actually validate it and feel we can bring the most improvement. Then we plan on integrating further with the common e-commerce platforms like WooCommerce and Magento. We plan on doing this by actually building our own development team to be able to reduce response times and costs. We have a development team in Yash right now. They're doing a great job, but we feel by having a team that can respond to us immediately from the learnings we have in the agency, we can actually build an app um, in a lean way, let's say. Look at here and type it slow. But now, we're going to move on to the uh, next five minutes. Yes. Yeah, thanks, for, yeah, thanks for breaking the ice. Uh, she deserves a big round of applause.
as many questions and as many answers from your side. We have uh, the mic over there. Please uh, use it uh, to go from one to another uh, in the session. Who's starting? Hey, for the break, everyone's starting. Uh, we have the uh, DNA for the uh, three members, uh, but please hold your questions for the networking, yeah? And do make sure that we have made the project on the networking. Thank you. Nice. Can you tell us more about your team? Uh, yes, we are a team of um, six members right now in the agency. There are um, four conversion optimization specialists, including myself, a data analyst, and a front-end developer. Uh, the team is very young. I started on my own actually as a freelance conversion optimization specialist. And the team has grown. Last year it was just me, and now we're six. We have our own office, and uh, we have a team of three developers in Yash, but they're all sourced right now. So. But uh, we've been doing this, so I, as a conversion specialist, have been doing this for four or five years now. And uh, the guys, they're all getting trained with uh, some of the top uh, practitioners in the industry. They're getting certificates for conversion optimization. And we hope to bring this to the, to the table as an expert. Okay. Uh, hi. Is there any market validation right now? Like any clients or feedback? Yes, um, so we have uh, our own, our agency, our agency clients, the e-commerce businesses, they're already using it. And I think the most valuable validation we received was to a PPC agency that we established a collaboration with. And they're using it for 40 of their uh, e-commerce clients. They're all Shopify clients, uh, the agency is from Australia, and uh, they're using it uh, successfully so far that they just started. So the plan is to actually expand to PPC agencies for them, to be able to help them to work better. The application is generating constantly the report, or is it only one time reporting to us? Uh, whenever you, so it's um, on demand. Whenever, so it's generating the reports on the required time frame when you generate them. So it's not doing it constantly, it's just... Uh, is it also tracking... Uh, uh, the history of the other reports that I have generated in the past? Uh, right now, no. What we managed to do, so it's not tracking history, but what we do manage to achieve through the app is avoid any kind of data sampling that's taking place in Google Analytics because we're doing day-to-day -day reporting and then connecting the data. So I think that's one valuable uh, point to, to use. But right now, we're not, we're not doing this. If it's something that's required, we can help. Thank you. So what, what you're noting right now is a natural extension of you, what you already do, right? Yes. Uh, that means you basically do an upsell to the clients, or you plan to conquer a new market where the competition is yeah. ultra strong from media agencies, yeah. right? Yeah, so uh, it's not, we're not upselling it to clients, we're actually validating it for our clients. Um, our clients are uh, medium-sized e-commerce, I say mid-sized. For them, it might not be so useful at this point, but the idea with it is, I started out with it actually to be able to reach clients that would not uh, afford the managed services, and then we can reach the small uh, e-commerce e businesses. But now actually, the way I see it developing is to be able to target agencies and larger e-commerce clients that can uh, use this data to, to avoid the big part of reporting and marketing waste, let's say. Okay. That, and that's not a low value added, a low market, a low value market. Um, I'm not sure in what way low. Um, what I mean is, um, I think for you to be very, very profitable and successful, mm -hmm. you would have to compete in a very, very big league. Yes. With people who outstandingly will outrun the resources you have. So you will therefore be forced to go to smaller clients. Isn't that a low value market? I think it's um, low average spend per user, let's say, but it's a very big market. So for example, only Shopify stores, they're 800,000 right now, and they're constantly increasing. So I think uh, there's a market for There's definitely a, a good market for this. And as you've seen, the e-commerce uh, market is constantly growing, so I think we can tap into this potential and actually expand features as we, as we go. International? Yes, definitely. We're, How are we uh, Marketing. We're very good at marketing. So. Okay, good one. 
Thank you.